What's up everybody? This is Ben Lampkins with Angler's Ditch Outdoors. Uh, today we're here at the Missouri River. Uh, we're gonna try and do a little bit of blue cat fishing. Um, about to get the boat in the water. We're gonna get bundled up and hopefully see if we can't get on some of these blue cats. Stay tuned. structure that you can find down there you'll start finding some fish so those are the kind of things I look for I'm starting to see some fish here um, see if we can't find one of these trees that they like to hang around here and I'm starting to see some uh, some of the cover down there they like to hang around. Uh, seen, a, seen a couple fish back there. And I was kind of driving around looking at seeing what, checking some of these spots to see where they're hanging out at. Well, here's some of the other things I like to look for. You can kind of see they're coming up on the wing dike here. Uh, I like to get up in these current, current breaks. Uh, let's start looking for fish on the electronics. See if we can't start marking some fish usually when you get right right at that current seam and that drop off there you start seeing fish. Um, that's where they like to hang out. These uh, scour holes behind these wing dikes is a good uh, good place to look. Um, I like to get in those deeper holes so uh, scan these areas try to see what kind of fish are in them got some fish there there is a lot of Asian carp here uh, so a lot of that's uh, Asian carp as well they kind of like to hang out in that slack water behind these wing dikes as well so all right we're set up here uh, I'm gonna start getting some lines in the water it's kind of starting to warm up so I'm gonna get layers off here start getting some baits in the water this here's kind of my poor man's bait board uh, that's what I like about uh, catfish is they don't judge they don't care how nice of a boat you got or how nice your gear is in fact they don't even care how ugly you are as long as you put the right bait in front of them at the right time you'll connect with one so yeah sections like that. Um, I'll tell you what, I get more bites on the heads than I do on the body parts, so 
Don't ever underestimate that, that, those heads. They, they really love them things. So. Let's see if you can see that. Spread them out out there and uh, catch most of my fish right at that current seam. I like to get them right in there. They like to hang out in that slack water and they'll come out and grab. It looks like one's hitting right here already. They'll come out and grab them baits there in that current. I like to set a timer. I'm bad with paying attention to the time, so I just set a, a timer. I like to spend about only about 30 minutes per spot. If I don't get any any bites, I just reel them up and head somewhere else. If those fish are there and if they're hungry, they're gonna eat. They're, they're, there's no sense of waiting much longer. You just get that bait in front of them. Uh, usually, get most of my bites within the first 30 minutes. Uh, and if if they're there, they're gonna eat. They're not gonna wait around. So. Wait so a lot of times just fish in one spot where there's either no fish in it or they're just not feeding. Sitting there for hours. It works a little better at night time. Sitting in a spot because they'll actually eat. At night they'll travel a little farther looking for bait. They'll get up in that shallows and then the flat. They'll actually move around looking for it. So. At night time, I usually spend a little bit longer, uh, but uh, I do most of my night fishing in warmer, warmer time of the year, warmer months. Uh, in the winter time or cold months, uh, I don't do too much night fishing. Um, I mean, if, if that's the only option you got, then you can't catch them sitting on the couch, you know. So, uh, but I usually try and colder months just to fish the daytime uh, in these deeper holes they'll come to these deeper holes these wing dikes from that current over time they'll dig holes deeper holes back there and they'll go back in there uh, in deeper holes in the in the colder months and hang out there so and they save energy they get kind of current stop, wing dikes, uh, even things that aren't sticking up, any kind of structure underwater even that shows up that might break that current for them, they can get behind it uh, when they're trying to preserve energy with it being, they're kind of lethargic uh, winter time. They'll uh, hang out in that slack water a little bit. Uh, and then like, that's why I do real good on these seams, they'll hang out in that slack water and they'll come out and grab things that wash down in that current so they're not burning a lot of energy. But uh, then when things warm up, fish the currents a little more. They, the heavy currents, they, uh, they do not mind, mind that current one bit. Uh, doesn't matter how heavy that current is, those big blue cat, they don't mind it. But for the being colder and they're tabulism and everything slowed down they tend to like to get in those 
select water, so bait bait size wise. I just use sometimes I gotta downsize my bait if they're not hitting them bigger baits. Uh winter winter time or colder months they'll they'll prefer that smaller bait, even those big catfish, big blue cat. Uh, got something to do with the, the energy they use to digest. I, I, I don't know the scientifics of it, but they'll, they prefer those smaller baits. But usually I like to start off, I'll scan these scour holes from these wing dikes, see if they're in there. Uh, also, things you can look for are sharp bends in the river is a good starting point. Uh, is that things wash down that river. A lot of that cover just kind of washes up on that bend there. The fish like to get up in that cover, so that's usually a good starting point if you, if you don't know where to go. Uh, try those bends. Uh, any kind of current break you can find. Uh, those are the kind of things you want to look for. Got here kind of a little bit later today. I got here about 11 a.m. Uh, I've come here sometimes in the morning, but colder months I found like you get here early morning catch them. But I noticed the uh, the bigger fish would start hit hitting more a little bit later in the morning when it started warming up, a little warmer part of the day. Uh, you know, with it being colder, I guess that just kind of gets them uh, a little excited being a little bit warmer part of the day. So uh, if you get out late, there's nothing wrong with that. You can catch them all through the day. Uh, it doesn't have to be right in the morning. Uh, at least where I fish here, that, that, that's the case. Um, Alright, it's been about 30 minutes. I'm going to reel them up, head on over and try and find another spot. Decent fish. This reel's been acting up on me here. I've only been here 15 minutes in this spot. to come up. <laughs> Gotta love it. Love these big strong catfish. He just keeps going under the boat. Get me all kinds of tangled up. Look at that drag peeling. Love it. Love it, love it.
I want to come up. A little bit better view of what's going on here. There you go. All right. A little malfunction with the camera there, but we're back on here. See that? Got us a giant on here. Big dog. Might be my personal best here. Been fighting them for a minute now. Get him up in the boat here. Just gotta play these fish. I can't get this. Clipped on here. Look at that. That is beautiful. Let's get this. Alright, now let's get the net. Okay. This is a little bit of a fiasco, but we got him. Let's get this fish up in here. that all right we get them picked up get, get them weighed and some pictures and we'll get them back in the water okay that was a fun fight go ahead and get a picture of this bad boy Good spot here. I've seen uh, hopefully these other rods are good. I seen there was a down dead tree right out there, right on this current seam. Two things you want right there together, you can't beat that. If I figured I'd stop and try, threw it in there. Didn't take long at all. If you can see, I've got a Pig in the boat, so I want to get a weight on him. Seventy-one fifteen. Nope, oh, seventy-one twenty-one. Sorry. It's a good one. Alright, we 
got her weighed and pictures. We'll put her back in the water here. goes come back when you're 100 pounds Whew. that was fun so apologize for the camera work everything started to malfunction once I got the fish on the rod uh, so fish like that that was the only fish I caught today but I've only been here a few hours uh, and this is actually a new spot new area so I'm glad I tried it but that right there made the trip all worth it just that one fish catching a 70 plus pound fish so all right guys well I hope you enjoyed that fight as much as I did and maybe learned a few things on the way I myself am learning the struggles of uh, being a solo fisherman while working the camera, the net, and reeling in a 70 plus pound fish. So if you like what you've seen, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.